My name is David Brown. I'm studying in the University of Limpopo, a PhD student. I'm talking this morning about how to reduce methane emission in our animals, particularly the ruminant animals, through the use of tanning rich plants. Gases, greenhouse gases, are gases that trap heat in our atmosphere. These gases are a, part, a problem to our, to our world because at the accumulation of this gas leads to increase in global temperature. I'm not in the communal area of Limpopo province and this acacia species is, is, is a rich source of protein animals. It has been found that condensed tannins in this plant can reduce the methane emission which is a problem in our environment. When you give goats these tannin rich plants, the condensed tannin can reduce the methane emission in the goat. This, this um, acacia is widely spread in the communal area of the province and this is this what we use, we use the ant scissors to actually trim off some of the, the, the leaf pads which we can dry and give directly to the goats. And by giving these goats these acacia species, we are reducing the methane emission from the goat and also we are increasing the productivity of this particular goat. We are not in the experimental farm. Yeah, I'm treating this one. I'm going to treat um, that so if I give this to a cow. Like we all know that greenhouse gases are gases that trap heat in the environment. The accumulation of these gases is a major problem to our world and our immediate environment. We know that the country contributes between 10 to 18 percent to the global warming temperature in the, in the atmosphere. And particularly the domesticated of these ruminant animals contribute about 50 percent of the total world methane emitted by this gold. These are indigenous goats, they are indigenous goats that have been kept in the communal area of this particular environment. These goats are kept for their meat and their milk, and particularly these goats, they are a source of livelihood for the people around this place. These are acacia carol that the ant harvested, and what we do is that acacia is very rich in protein. Instead of the farmers, the local farmers, buying concentrate that's very expensive, we can make use of this and it can be given directly to the goal like I'm doing this morning. We give it directly to them. It's a known fact that this is very palatable. The goat likes like eating this particular acacia carol. So what we're trying to tell the commander farmers is that they can reduce the cost of production by giving this acacia carol, which is very, very cheap. We can add as we can harvest it through the, through, through the using a pair of scissors and also particularly it contains condensed tannin is a known fact condensed tannin reduces methane emission in goods. Reduction in methane emission will lead to a better and a safer environment. So I want to employ all the commercial farmers in this area you know, to adopt this technology to give their goods a fish carol. These particular animals are under treatment. We want to know the quantity, the amount of acacia that will be given to these animals and the amount of methane that will reduce. At the end of the day, we're going to use a methane detector to measure the methane emission from this goat. Before they were placed on the treatment, we have measured the quantity of methane emitted from the goat. Then after about three weeks, we're going to use the same device to measure the acacia and the sorghum. The sorghum acts is a basic dye. This is 80% sorghum, 20% acacia. So all of them are actually essentially You can see that it's almost finished. This is 50% still gone. It's a vacation. The good at eating the more that has got more acacia. I know that this, this technology will be, I mean, adopting acacia carol to feed the gold will lead to a similar environment and to reduce the methane emitted. The methane is actually produced through the entire fermentation in the rumen. When goats, when they are when after, after feeding, they, they produce this gas as a source, as, as a byproduct of the feed in the rumen. We're going to use this research to tell the communal farmers the importance of acacia carol and how it can reduce the methane emission in this goal. So what we're doing is that 
this this gold that we have in the in the pen, absolutely they should be able to make a decision, scientific decision on the amount of acacia to be given to this gold, thus leading to reduction in emitting being emitted from this particular gold. Uh, we're going to also ask for full participation by all the community farmers in this area to adopt this simple and safe technology. Apart from reducing methane emission, it's also a source of cheap protein for the goat. Once the goat eats this, they'll be able to gain more weight and lead to, you know, and improve on, on their and improve in live weight and other parameters. And by giving these goats these acacia species, we are reducing the methane emission from the goat, and also we're increasing the productivity of this particular goat. This grass is the the base of diet. We don't give acacia a lot to the goat. This grass with the acacia. So this is the grass we give to the goat. It looks so dirty, but there is a lot of food or some people in the communal areas. We need to identify with those people and show the commander people, the farmers, how they can get the best out of their product or out of their um, animals and also how we can also reduce the methane emission that is coming from this particular animal. This methane emission they come through the fermentation of the feed in the rumen. And also we give them the vacation like we can see those good people, then we give them the grass, you know, and then the combination of these two will help to improve the productivity of this gold and also it helps to reduce the methane coming from this gold. And so we're going to tell the local farmers to adopt this technology. It has not been tested in this communal area and so we are using the research plan to show the communal farmers what we are doing. And then we're going to make a decision based on those animals in the cage to tell them the amount of methane that can be emitted and can be reduced by this acacia carrot. Thank you.